I'm here catching up with CC in the off season, recording some R2C2 sessions, which, you know, it is great during the off season because schedule's just easy. You're around, man. Yeah, I got and, nothing. I'm unemployed. And you don't, <laughs> you don't mind like getting out of the house and, and doing a little something. Well, I do mind getting out of the house, do but you? like for the podcast, I'm good. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so actually, like I should feel worse about you trekking into the city as much yeah. as you do. <laughs> I hate coming to the city. <laughs> All this time, I'm thinking he likes it. He likes coming in. Okay, so Yankees fans. And, and we've talked about it a little on the podcast, but, you know, for a lot of Yankees fans, this is one of the first times they're seeing you, maybe the first time they're seeing you since you had your health scare. So, I mean, first of all, how scary was it, see, going through, you know, having a stint put in your heart and, and going through that ordeal? Yeah, it was scary. I mean, obviously, anytime, you know, your health is, you know, in question is something that, you know, you get nervous about. Um, but going through the process, you know, uh, I didn't really know what was happening, so I didn't really get scared until after, you know, and I was already fixed and I'm good, you know what I'm saying? So it was just, uh, it was just tough process processing it for a couple of days after, but um, just the way I feel right now, I feel so much better, so I'm good. And wasn't it you were actually, like, having a catch with Dellen when you realized, like, whoa, something's I was, up here? I was actually playing catch with D. Um, I didn't let him know at the time, but, like, I was just... Like, I, I just shortness of breath. I wasn't feeling good because, you know, for me, normally, I can run, swim, do whatever, you know, elliptical for however long. Like, my cardio is normally really good. So for me to have shortness of breath playing catch, I knew something was up. And then you just immediately took care of it. Because, I see, now, I think that's something that's smart because, you know, a lot of times people deal with stuff and they just keep it to themselves. And yeah, no, nah, I mean, I, I knew something was just off. I just didn't feel right, you know what I mean? So... Um, and, and I'm not, I'm not that person. Like, I feel anything, I'm saying something. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted to get right. And it's, like, even just seeing you, you know, after this, you know, besides the, the beard and the glasses look, which I've told you I'm a huge fan of the glasses. <laughs> I think they look terrific. And Thanks. I hope you can wear them on the mound. <laughs> but, like, it just looks, you look, you look, like, fit, you look energized, like, it looks like, and you said, I remember you texting us, like, the day after, texting our group chat the day after you had the surgery, saying, like, I feel like a new man after that procedure. Yeah, no, I just felt, I mean, I was, I was so sick the three weeks leading up to it, you know, so I just felt, felt so much better immediately, you know, so it's good. Yeah, and now, as far as your training goes and everything, getting ready for spring training, is there anything that concerns you or anything that's different for you? No, I'm ready to go. I'm full, um, Claire, to get ready to go and be ready on time. That's awesome, man. Yeah. You were going into this knowing this is your final year, which makes it, like, unique and special anyway. But now, is there any different energy, too, after going through what you just went through, heading into the season, knowing, like, hey, man, I got a new lease on life, too. I, you know, I feel energized. So. Uh, no, I mean, it is. You know, it's baseball season. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm sure I'll be excited when it's, uh, when it's time. But, no, I mean, I'm, you know, I am feel good. I'm ready to just get, get healthy as possible. I had the knee surgery, so I got to rehab my knee and, and uh, just be ready to go. You're right on 3,000 Ks, mm -hmm. which is a historic number. You're right on 250 wins. You know this is your final season. Are you excited about those potential milestones and what they mean? Yeah, I am. I'm, actually, I mean, I, I never get into numbers and things like that, you know, so, but just to be so close to, you know, I guess 3,000 strikeouts, more than two, 250 wins, I guess. I mean, I, 250 wins is not like a benchmark. I mean, I just, it's a mark. Yeah. But, um, you know, to be able to get 3,000 strikeouts is going to be special. I mean, being, you know, a strikeout guy, you know, my whole career and then now throwing the cutter and then still being able to get strikeouts, um, you know, it's, it's a big deal. So, um, you know, being, I'll be third in lefties, you know what I mean? Isn't that all crazy? It's crazy. So like, it's, it's fun to think about. Have, have you started to think at all about the Hall of Fame with those numbers and knowing this is your last yeah, year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's just a natural thing, you yeah. know? And I, I never even thought about the Hall of Fame until last year, and I saw those guys going. I think it was Hoffman and... Was it Hoffman went in last year? Yeah, maybe. Um, was it last but year? But it wasn't yeah. even, like, the speeches. I just saw the parties yeah. and, like, the get-togethers. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I need to get with that. Like, yeah. I'm the ultimate, like, get-together guy. Yeah. And if I can, get like, have a party in Cooperstown, like, are you kidding me? You, you know what I'm saying? You like, want it as an excuse just to get all your teammates yeah, together? Yeah, like, you, like, that's just an excuse to get my team. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'd be happy to go into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But, like, to have a party and, like, see all my guys again, that'd be great. That's true. Like, if you think about parties, like, the induction into the Hall of Fame party... Who wouldn't want to show up to yeah, that? Exactly. You know, that's so, like, be, like, everybody's coming there. to that. Like, like, even the people who said no to, like, the wedding yeah, show up to everybody's that. everybody's coming to that. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people don't want to go to a vow renewal. Yeah. But people want to come to your, your uh, Cooperstown induction, for <laughs> that's sure. That's right. That's for right. Sure. Although I heard the vow renewal was off the charts. Oh, uh, it was off the charts. Yeah. It was the best event I've ever been to, yeah, that's by that, far. That was the biggest event of CC's offseason. How about bringing back uh, Britain... 
and get and hap how much does that mean for this team and the success in 2019 no i was excited i, I mean i love brit brit was great i mean obviously you know how our, our bullpen has been constructed the past couple of years we want a super bullpen now like we want guys in there that can yeah. you know shut the game down um i think bringing back hap is going to be huge i mean he's a professional his, um, you know, the way he goes about his routine, the way he works out and everything. He's a good example for a lot of these young guys to watch. And um, I was excited that he's got a chance to come back. Because the Red Sox won in 2018, is there a part of you that's like, not just you, but the team that's like, all right, you know, we're the Yankees. Can't let that happen again. Like, is there an extra I motivation? I don't even know if it's uh, because they won, because it's the Red Sox and, you know, they won last year. You know, they put us out of the playoffs. They beat us bad. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they embarrassed us, so it's, it's not even, I mean, obviously all that stuff plays in, but, you know, we want to we wanna win the division and, and kind of, you know, write that ship just because they're the ones that put us out. Going out, uh, your final year with a parade would be pretty nice, huh? That'd be nice. That'd be awesome. That's the goal for CC. In the meantime, just make sure you guys are listening to R2C2 for every sure. single day. <laughs> every Thursday, new episode. And, of course, watching Yankees Hot Stove.